I demanded water here. Aquafina, where is my Aquafina? Please, Please rise, rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place, Place your right hand, hand over your heart. heart. Ready, Ready, begin. begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America and to, and to the, the republic for which, for which it stands, stands one, nation one nation under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For all. You may be seated. Good, Good morning, CI. I'm Albert. And I'm Angelica. And these are your news and announcements for today. Thursday, October 18, 2018. News announcements and activities. Attention, CI teachers and students. There will be an earthquake and evacu evacuation drill uh, at 1018 today. Now we go to a short video of how to prepare yourself for an earthquake. When an earthquake occurs, like when we were sent to Haiti back in January, this team responded to Haiti, was there within 24 hours and saw the kind of devastation that's a nightmare for, for anyone in earthquake prone areas. What we're looking for when buildings collapse is people trapped in survivable void spaces. And the best way to get into a survivable void space or ensure you're going to be in one when an earthquake happens is to drop cover and hold on. We're going to demonstrate uh, one example of drop cover and hold on with one of our firefighters who's an urban search and rescue trained firefighter. He's normally one of the persons that we would send in looking for you if you're in a collapsed building. In this case, he's going to demonstrate what we're talking about and why we emphasize drop cover and hold on. This could be a school, could be an office, wherever you happen to be. What we want you to do is protect yourself by getting under something sturdy, a desk, a table, something that's solid. Earthquake starts. You're going to drop, cover your head and your vital organs. You're going to drop and get in that position, and you're going to hang on to the furniture, the, the item that you're under. Get completely under it, so slide over under the, under the desk. And what you're doing is you're protecting yourself from the flying debris that's going to be dropping all over the place. You're also covering your head. Your vital organs, including your abdominals, are being covered at this point by not just the item you're under, but the fact that you're holding your head, you're, you're, got, you're down in that position. So you're increasing your chance of survival. You're making yourself a smaller target. If you're not near a table and you can't get underneath something, the next best thing is to get next to something solid, something low and solid. If this firefighter, on the other hand, had decided to run out of the room, now he's a bigger target for all the things flying around. And if you're in a scenario where the building actually does collapse or partially collapses, You've in increased your potential for being in a survivable void space created by the heavy item that you're now under. So it is a survival technique. And uh, as has been mentioned, in a big earthquake, these items are going to be moving across the room. So you need to be ready to move with it. He can crawl. He can move back and forth. He wants to stay with that table and stay under it as the table and the items are moving around the room. And that is a the simplest thing we can do to increase your chance of survival, you'll be able to then come out of the earthquake, do the things we've talked about, go to get your supplies, make sure your neighbors are safe, your family, do that contact out of state thing we've been talking about, and follow all the things we recommend in www.shakeout.org. Thank, Thank you. you. 
Attention seniors, this yearbook staff will be handing out senior superlative ballots on Thursday the 18th and Friday the 19th in front of the ASB room during lunchtime. Come and vote for your favorite senior <laughs> superlatives. Ballots must be returned by Friday the 19th. The library extended hours are in effect. The library is now open every morning at 7.20 during nutrition and lunch and after school until 4.10. <laughs> Pop by and check out our new magazines, games, and books. The Spanish Club is having an extension for pre-sale tacos and shirts for the Day of the Dead event. The new deadline is this Friday, October 19th. Attention all Raiders interested in, in science, engineering, and just fun activities. STEM Club is looking for members. They meet every Saturday from 9 to 1. They do three, 3D printing, robotics, field trips, and there's a chance to earn college credit. Do not miss out. For more information, come see Mr. Corona in room 61. Students, it's the best day in the district. Our Raider discount card, formerly called ASV card, for only $25, you get into every athletic event for free. And you get discounts on all dances. The deal only lasts until October 31st. So don't wait. Purchase yours today at the student store window. Attention seniors, don't be left out of the yearbook. Yearbook deadlines are approaching. The deadline to be photographed to be in the yearbook is October 19th. Monarch will choose the photo for you. Please call 805-843-4111 if you have any questions. Hey Raiders, would you like to have a chance to see your pictures in the yearbook? The yearbook after staff is currently accepting photos from any CI staff, student or staff member for possible publication in the 2019 Raider yearbook. Just go to www.com hjeshare.com and enter the um, school code 3027336 for fill out the information and follow the directions to submit your photos. Admin announcements, Career Center News, job opportunities, Target in Camarillo is now hiring for the holidays, must be at least 16 years of age, be one of the first to apply by um, completing application on their website at www.target Wait, Target Season, Seasonal Jobs, www.targetseasonaljobs.com. The ASVAB will be given on Wednesday, October 17, 2018 at 8.30 a.m. in Room 90. Please sign up in your College Career Center with Mr. Martin as soon as possible. Space is limited. The following after-school academies are now taking applications. Global Trade and Logistics. Law Enforcement Academy, Pre-Engineering Academy, see Mr. Martin in College Career Center as soon as possible for the ac academy application of your choice. These spots fill fast and they are first come, first served. See Mr. Martin in the College Career Center for SAT and SAT fee waivers and test schedules for 2018-2019 school year. Work permit, see Mr. Martin for any application for your work permit. Sporting news. Raiders, it's that time again for all you interested in softball. There is a meeting scheduled in Mr. Prum's room during lunch, room 50 on October 30th. See, see all you ball players there. Baseball players, there will be a baseball meeting today, Thursday, October 17th, in the gym at lunch. Please show up. Practice will start this Friday. Sports on tab. Thursday, boys, water polo at Ventura, 7 p.m., cross country at Mount Sac. Saturday, <laughs> cross country, um, same place, 8 a.m., L.A. Invitational. Bookkeeper news. IDs must be presented at the window, at the bookkeeper's window. If you do not pick up your ID, go to the attendance window at the front office. Upcoming events. October 29th and 31st, Haunted House in the A's B Room. October 31st, Halloween Costume Contest. November 2nd, Spanish Club, Day of the Dead. All academic and all athletic clubs that want to appear in our new intro email us at cipictureofthedate at gmail.com. Make sure to follow us on our Twitter at CIHS Raiders Live to follow up with the updates here at the islands. Do you want your photos to be shown on CI Live? Do you have any announcements or events you'd like to promote? Email them to cipictureofthedate at gmail.com. Please send in your announcements at least 24 hours prior to the scheduled broadcast. That, that is, is all, all your news, news and announcements, announcements for, for today. today. Have, Have a great, great day, day, Raiders. Raiders. <laughs>
gets up on the truck.